So this is the finished field measured plan. I'm going to scan this so that you can see it. Um, uh, so I'm just going to kind of turn also so we can see it from a, a lot of different directions. Uh, so we've got the green going in one direction and the red going in the other. And I'm just going to explain a few spots that look a little different. So here's one example right here. Notice that this is 6.10, which we know means 6 feet 10 inches. For the green direction, my zero datum is here. But you can see from the room shape, I didn't really have an opportunity to measure that spot from this wall. So instead I measured this corner here from this wall. And I indicated that on my field measurements by pointing an arrow to show which direction I measured that in. You don't have to do the arrow if you're measuring it from the zero wall that you chose. So here I didn't measure from that zero wall, so I had to put in an arrow. Same thing with this one here for the depth of the closet. Um, I technically didn't have to put um, an arrow here, but I'm kind of going in the opposite direction of the zero in this case, so I just wanted to make it clear that this is being measured to that face of that wall. And then in places like this where the closet, I can't measure the inside edges of this closet as it compares to this wall because I can't get my tape measure to go out like that. But what I can do is measure the inside edges of this closet. And I could tell from just looking inside the closet that this wall and where this corner met were the same location. So this gave me the inside width of the closet. And we can read it seeing it's three feet, three and a half inches. And then this is uh, the same concept we were using before we were locating the edge of the closet door, first one off the wall here, the other side of the closet door, and then where the corner, this corner meets that diagonal. So in order to get this diagonal laid out properly when we do this to scale, uh, this dimension is critical, and that dimension is critical, because that controls the angle of this wall. And then for really small dimensions, I have some small dimensions. The, the door is only nine and a half inches from this wall. Now notice I changed my format here. Um, I really didn't want the nine to be confused with nine feet. If I did 9.12, it might have been confusing. So in just these two locations, I went back to a typical format for the fractions and showed exactly where those dimensions are coming from. So these are extension lines from the edge of the wall of the wall to the edge of the door that show where I'm dimensioning from and to. That's a dimension line. And then I put little tick marks to cross over where the dimension line and extension line crosses and pointed to the line in between, basically telling you that I'm measured from here to here and that's nine and a half inches. And the same thing with the five inches. And I think that explains everything that we did in this space and how it got recorded. Uh, and as I said, I will scan it so that you have a chance to use it as an example when you do your, uh, your room. Oh, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to record the uh, dimensions of the windows and doors um, to show you how to put that on a separate sheet to get height information for your space.